Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fully customise all of your images that you insert in Word and that means how to crop them, how to make them look slightly different and how to crop them to a shape and also how to integrate them with your text. So let's just go up to insert, pictures, picture from file and I'm just going to select this image here and click insert. Now what you'll notice is when you insert an image into Word you can't move it. So what you need to do is change the wrapping. So make sure it's selected. If it is, you're going to get this ribbon up here called Picture Format. Go along to Wrap Text, click on the drop down, and you can select from any of these if you're not too worried about text. So for the time being, I'm just going to select in front of text. So don't worry too much about the background. We're just at the moment concerned with the image. So because I've done that, I can now move it anywhere around my document and I can also resize it. So resizing an image in Word, if you use the corners, it will keep its original ratio. If you don't and use the sides, you'll see it squashes your image and distorts it in both directions. So if you ever do that, just, just press Command or Control Z and you will go back to your original if it's the last step that you did. So now your image is inserted, you might not like the way it looks. So for example, this puppy's little head is not in the middle of my image. So then I need to crop it. So if you select your image, go to the crop tool here and just click. You'll notice you've got these black markers around the outside of your image. Now you can use the corners to make a resize or you can use the edges if you want to just to resize those particular sections. Now any adjustments that you do do to this crop means that you can also move the image around in that crop. So say I wanted quite a thin image, I can now move my image to where it will fit. Once you're happy, just press enter. However, if you think you've made a mistake, don't worry, the rest of the image hasn't disappeared. You simply go back up to crop and the image is there and you can make those relevant adjustments. Now, for many people, they want to be able to crop it to a square or a particular ratio. If you want to do that, go to crop and go down to aspect ratio and you'll see all the various different options that Word has for you to choose, both portrait landscape or indeed square, which is what most people are searching for. So if I click on one to one, you'll see Word has now given us a square ratio that we can now move this image around in. But if you do want to resize it, do be careful because you have to click the corner and hold down the shift key. Otherwise, you will not maintain that square ratio and it will actually turn into a rectangle. So once again, once you're happy with where you've placed your image, just press enter and there's your crop. Now what you can also do is you can use the height and width to crop your image to a particular size. So for example, here we've got a table and in this table we've got individual cells. If I click on table layout, you can see that it's given us the dimensions of the cell. So being 4.17, we can actually copy that, Command or Control C. Then we can click on our image, go back up to picture format, go over to the height and width, but make sure it's checked because it will actually copy the ratio. Select one of them, paste in your dimension, press enter. You can see it's copied it at the bottom here. And now it should fit perfectly in this square at the bottom. Now you'll notice when you move a picture around, it's often quite clunky and it keeps clicking into place. If you do that and hit the Alt key on your keyboard, it will smooth all of that down and you will also be able to move this with precision. Now in the same way, you may have to put your image amongst your text. Let's say we wanted it at the top here but we want our words or our text to go around our image. Select the image, go to picture format, go back up to wrap text, and then you can select tight. You've also got other options, which is top and bottom, which is also quite popular, or you can select behind if you want to write over the top of the image. So for now, let's just go to tight. And as you can see, 
the text will now move itself around the image and you can place it wherever you like. Now, if for example, this text gets a little too close to your image, you can go back up to wrap text and down to more layout options. And if you go to the bottom, it says distance from text. So we've currently got the left and right at 0.32. We can copy that if we want to, command or control C, and then paste it, command or control V to both of those. So it's all equal, click OK. Now that text is a little further away from your image to give it a little bit more space. And that will also carry through as we move it around. Now you can see it's quite close here, so I'm going to go back up and check that. So it is 0.32. So let's make it all 0.5. And let's just copy that. Let's just paste it into all of these boxes and click OK. Now you've got a little bit of extra space all the way around your image. And that goes for when it's smaller or bigger it would just keep that text away from your image. Now, if you finally cropped your image, you've put it in the right place, but you think it just doesn't seem like a good image or it's too bright or too dark, you can make some changes. So again, make sure it's selected, go to picture format. And over here, you've got a number of different options. In the corrections, you can sharpen or soften your image, but you can also brighten it or darken it. So let's say I wanted to just darken that slightly you can see the effect that has. If you don't like it, Command or Control Z and go back one step. In colour, we've got saturation at the top here and you can see the effect that has. I may be going to turn down that saturation slightly. And then in colour, we've also got a colour tone. You can see they're using much cooler tones here and much warmer tones here. So maybe we want to just warm up that picture just a little bit. And then we've also got the option to recolour our image and you can see the effects that we'd have if we selected one of these images. Then for those of you who want to go a bit crazy, we've got some artistic effects and pixelated effects. We've got some sketchy texts like this, which are quite fun and you can select from any of those. Then we can go on to transparency for those of you who'd like to write on top of your image. So we can change the transparency we can move that over to cover our document and then we can just change the wrapping to behind text. And as you can see, that is now the background of our document. And if you don't like it, once again, just hit Command and Control Z and it will go back one step for you. If you want some slightly more artistic effects, if you select the image, go to picture format and go all the way over to format pane. Then we can go to this bucket icon here and then we can go down to solid line in the line menu and then we can change the color and this is for the borderline that can go around the outside of your image. Width, just select this and we're just going to put 10 in the press enter. And then the joint type, this is the corners, we've got rounded corners at the moment, I'm going to select mitre to change those to square. And that will give you a lovely border if that's what you're looking for. And again, we can move this holding down that Alt or Option key to make sure it's in the perfect place. So that will give you your borders. Alternatively, if you want to go all out, you can also use this icon here, which if you want to put a shadow on your image, you can do that. And you can use all these sliders if you want to to just change the shadows on your image. There's all of these to play around with. I won't go through all of them because it will make an extremely long video. But if you go to this icon here, all of these here are exactly the same as this over here. If you want to select multiple images and put them all into your table, there is a way to do this very easily. But what you need to ensure is that your images are cropped to the same orientation as your table. So these are square, but you may get portrait rectangles or landscape rectangles. Just make sure the pictures are all cropped to the same size and orientation. So what you can do is select your table exactly how you want it, go to table layout, go to auto fit and select fix column width. Then right click in your table, go down to table properties, go to row, and where it says specific height, 
change at least to exactly and click OK. And now if I then just open a file, don't choose the insert up here, so open up your files and all I now need to do is click and drop, click and drop into my table. Now don't worry about where they're placed in the table, I will organise that. You see how quickly and easy it is to do it. Once you've done that, you can select your table, go to table layout and select this align to centre. And those now will all be perfectly lined up in your table. Now you can see this one here is a slightly different size. You can correct that. Firstly, we just need to check it's a square, which it's not. So let's crop it. Press enter once it's cropped. And then we need to check out the dimensions of this one here. You can see it's 3.8 by 3.8. Go back to this image. Make sure it's checked here. And on this one, we'll just put 3.8. Press enter deselect and now it's exactly the same sizes as everything else. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.